Julie was shocked when her daughter revealed a horrible secret. She said that her father, Michael, had been acting inappropriately towards her for years. But he denies doing anything wrong and needs to clear his name with the lie detector test. Take a look. My daughter says that Michael keeps trying to have sex with her from time to time in the last couple of years. My marriage before all of this was pretty decent. This is a man, in my opinion, for 14 years is a stand-up guy and a wonderful dad. According to my daughter, he's acting like a crazy ex-boyfriend and that is just totally weird to me. He's wrote her love notes and stuck them on her bed and under her pillow. When I confronted Michael about the situation, he said that she's lying, nothing like that ever happened, he's not being inappropriate, that I'm just crazy and making this stuff up, and I know that I'm not. One day I walked into the kitchen and my daughter was washing a dish, and Michael comes up behind her and massages her shoulders, but it just seemed like his fingers kept going lower and lower. After I told him that we were coming on this show to do lie detector, he decides that He's going to tell me, oh, there was one inappropriate comment. She came downstairs with some tight jeans, and Michael says, oh, girl, your butt looked too good in them jeans. Go change them. To me, it's um, him trying to fess up at the last minute. Michael, with our other children, is completely night and day. He spends about 30% of his time with our other children and about 70% of the time with our daughter. If Michael fails his lie detector test, it is going to be the end of our marriage. If it comes back that he has been trying to have sex with her, I'm going to make sure he gets locked up. Michael, that's your wife, and yeah. she says that you are acting inappropriately or trying to have sex with your daughter. Yeah, none of that's true. None of it's true. Uh, <laughs> this woman, like I said, she's crazy. She's really crazy. Your, your wife? Yeah. She was she crazy before these allegations came out? I don't know. The last five years, she has given up brains on the kids and let me take over the kids. And ever since then, she's been jealous of the kids, me and the kids' relationship. And uh, this has started. This isn't the first time that she's uh, even brought this up. When you hear her on the tape and she says that she caught you giving a creepy massage to your daughter, how do you respond to that? I'm ne that, that's never happened. Were you massaging it's, your daughter? No, I've never touched my daughter in that fashion or in that way. Did you it, ever tell your daughter, hey, uh, girl, your butt looks too good in those jeans? I told my daughter that she should not be wearing tight jeans like that, you know, showing off goods like that. Because mm -hmm. boys are attracted to, you know, she's wearing these tight jeans. And I'm like, don't advertise. You don't need it. I didn't say anything about your butt looking good or anything like that. Why would I? That's stupid. Right. Have you ever given anyone a reason to think that you were inappropriate with your daughter? No. No. So you, you wrote her a letter perking her up? Yes. That's and where, it. Because where'd we you, know, where'd we you leave the letter? Actually, I left it on the living room. In the living room? Yeah. Now, if the lie detector test comes back saying nothing ever happened between you and your daughter, what happens then? Do you try to make things uh, better with your wife? I can't go through dealing with allegations like this, what's next? Are you going to happen again with another kid? Um, I want a divorce, actually. You do? I want custody of my Either kids. Either way? Yes. And if you fail, she's going to want a divorce. If I fail, that would never happen. Okay. That's not going to happen. Does Julie know you want a divorce? I've told her that. Yeah, so it won't because, come as a shock? No, it won't come as a Does shock. Does she want to stay married to you? She said if I pass, if that she pass. wants to work on things. But I've already tried to do counseling with her. She didn't want it. She didn't want to do it? No. Okay. Let's meet your wife, Julie. I'm doing what I'm supposed to be doing as a mom. If your daughter, well, actually, it was your daughter that came in to me and told me that you've been trying to have sex with her for a couple of years and you're mad because you're caught? You put me out of the house and then bring me back into the house? It was when Why I felt bad for you. Why would you put me back in the house with the kids? I did, I, at night time, I stayed up making sure that you weren't doing anything. I was watching you everywhere Whatever. you went. Whatever. That's lies. That's not a lie. You're doing this is crazy. As a parent, when your kid tells you that, not your husband, not no man is more important than your child. Then why did it I It tells have you it? that's happening. Why was it that I had her and you in the same room? 
confronting both of you at the same time, and she said it never happened, and your story changed. My story never changed on anything. Bull crap. Okay, well then stop writing love notes to her. Like, how pathetic is that? And then love on Facebook... Love notes with daughter in it? What did the love notes say? Did, did you, the, did you I say read... She, she, the same day you told me something was happening, she was crying, she was shaking. Every time her phone dinged, she thought it was him, and she would drop it and start crying. It was very difficult to watch. And then she says, oh, Ma, I got something to show you. Why she was she comes, shaking? Hold Let her on, tell I'm the speaking. story. Okay, so see, she comes downstairs with the letters. And she goes, here, this is what he wrote. It kind of creeps me out. So I, I take a deep breath, and I think I've read maybe three sentences that were, you know, I care about you, I love you, you're more unique than the rest, you're my daughter, and I love you very much, which is all normal stuff. But why only her? And it was in her bed, not at all on a table. She said it was on her pillow in her room. I just don't understand why he's showing 70% love to one child and only 30% attention to our other children. It's just a fishy situation. I've had other parents have you ever seen? Me. Have you ever seen him doing anything and said, man, that looks creepy? Um, I've caught him going through her room. She wants to start a fight between me and my daughter. No, not at all. Oh, yes, you did. Not at all. So, so in your heart, do you believe that he's trying to have sex with your daughter? Um, I've been with this man 14 years, and the only thing I can say is, in my heart, I felt like none of this would ever happen. You wouldn't think that. You've been married a long time, Steve. I wouldn't think at all this man did. I w wanted, it was a ride or die situation. I believe him. And then, but then when your daughter comes to you and tells it, a good mom, good dad, good parent has to believe their child. And so I did. I did kick him out of the home because I wanted him to know that we're broke up until I called your show, Steve, because I wanted you to do the side detector to see what I'm supposed to do next. Okay, so exactly. here's the deal. He says um, he didn't do this, and he says pass or fail, he wants a divorce. I'm okay with that, and I'm okay with shared custody as long as he passes. If he fails, he can fight me in the courts because I need to protect so you, my children. You, neither one of you really care about this marriage. Not really. I, I, I told them. To. I used to. I used to believe in this, this whole situation. This situation has put such a wedge between us that we coexist together, but we're not together. Okay. Any too. reason that your daughter would make this up? Um, Maybe he grounded her. Or... He had mentioned that she told him that uh, she was mad at him for yelling at her, so that's why she told me. But there was real tear, there was real fear in this girl when she talked to me. And it was, it was more than convincing when our daughter told me this. I just got done yelling at her. Well, let's find out. Um, so, so before I read this, there is no allegation of actual sexual contact. No, there was from her, and then the story changed. Um, there was people that were asking me I'm asking about you, their as weird standing behavior. Standing on the stage right now, there's no allegations. There were allegations, yeah, but okay. I didn't see anything. Okay, and you were aware. Story changed. Were you aware of the? Yeah. Okay, you were aware. So, Michael, you came here and you took a lie detector test, and we asked you, "Have you ever had?" physical contact with your daughter for your own sexual gratification. He answered no, and the results for his lie detector test is that Michael did not tell the truth. What the no. Wait, no. are you gonna try and say that you Steve ain't even tried now with her? And I look like no. a bad parent, you can I no, promise you I never did. You better get out I of I promise place. you I never did. Look, look, you came and looked stupid. Our daughter told us the truth. No, you I guarantee you. Her. I guarantee you. you. Think no, of seriously, her I never touched my daughter. You know what? Your daughter you came lied. to you. You she said, cry, and you man. said something that every mother should say. She I came to me. I took it seriously. Yeah. Any man. And this guy failed. And with no that, you, you dirtbag, creepy dad, get the <laughs> out of here. <laughs> well, uh, I do think that you should contact the police when you get home, and definitely, I would not let him back. No matter if it's cold out, no matter what's my going dad's on. My dad and my brother's at my house, so it's okay. It's Steve. All right, but I wouldn't, let him, I wouldn't oh, let him he, back. I wouldn't let him back. He won't be okay. anywhere in the home. Good luck to you. Thank you, Steve.